Hello folks, welcome to this video. Um, today I'm going to explain how to tune your settings of your computer to get optimal results and lag-free uh, frames uh, when recording a Microsoft Flight Simulator. Um, in particular if you have scenes with high level of detail like um, displayed here on the window then um, I used to have the problem even with an RTX 370 card that uh, stutters would appear when simultaneously recording with Shadow Play or OBS um, while flying. So in this video I'm going to explain how to record in 4K stutter free um, with um, either a RTX 370 or 3080 or even a 1080 Ti. Now the first thing that we want to do is actually uh, set the screen settings to accept uh, 4K. So what you have to do is actually right click on your desktop, go to NVIDIA control panel, in NVIDIA control panel you go to manage 3D settings and then scroll down and find uh, DSR um, so DSR is right here and you will have to uh, select um, a multiplicator now if you, for instance you have a 1440 pixel screen uh, then select a multiplicator of 2.25 if you have a lower resolution screen you may have to go higher to 3 or four. Uh, in my case I have a 1440p uh, screen so I select 2.25 I say OK and hit apply. Um, having done that you can go to uh, change resolution and here you will have a new entry normally it will be set to the default native 1440 pixel but you will have a new uh, occurrence which is 4K, it's 2160p. Now select that one um, and now your monitor will uh, go dark and relight up in uh, 4K. It will mimic 4K um, so that you can play in 4K and record in 4K. Now it's important that um, as Microsoft Flight Simulator does not um, hit that many frames per second uh, that you set the refresh rate uh, as low as possible. Uh, don't put it on 120 or 144, uh, put it on a multiple factor of 30 frames per sector, a second, so uh, I would put it to 60 Hertz. You hit apply and uh, the desktop changes will uh, take effect. Now I will go on to uh, show how to optimize other settings in this NVIDIA control panel so that you can have lag-free recording. Now back in uh, the NVIDIA control panel, uh, here are some uh, tunings that we can do that have a high impact uh, to the rendering uh, quality. Um, and by that I mean uh, avoiding stuttering or lag. Um, the tuning that you will want to do is in Manage 3D Settings. And first thing that you should do is set Power Management Mode to Prefer Maximum Performance. By default on Normal, but for Power Management Mode, Prefer Maximum Performance should be what you go for. Um, also the texture filtering by default it's on quality you can on high quality um, again you should choose for high performance and the third thing that you have to do is the refresh rate the refresh rate is actually uh, a way to um, set the frames per second that you want to play at or record at um, 
we will uh, set this in the settings of Microsoft Flight Simulator itself. So choose application control. And in that way, uh, the frames per seconds can be uh, set in Microsoft Flight Controller. We, do, we will do that uh, later on in this video. So these three settings uh, have a major impact on the performance uh, that you will get when recording while playing uh, Microsoft in 4K. Another thing that you want to do is make sure that the game bar is set to off. So you can type settings, open the settings app, then scroll down to gaming, click on gaming, first click on Xbox game bar, make sure this is slider is set to off. Going back, click on game mode, make sure game mode is set to off. That will also um, have a positive effect on your playing and recording. The last thing that we are going to do is uh, make some adjustments to the settings of Microsoft Flight Simulator itself. So you can go to Options, General. First thing that you want to do is uh, set the screen resolution. Now remember that we have set the screen resolution in the NVIDIA panel to um, 4K. So we want Microsoft Flight Simulator to be also on 4K. So select here the option 2160p and hit OK. The other thing that we want to do is uh, limit our frame rates. Frame rates um, can eat a lot of resources and as your card will probably not um, run above 60 frames per second, better is to set it to 30 frames per second. The rendering uh, scale or the rendering resolution uh, is set by default on 100, but just to gain this little performance without losing much quality, you can set it to 80. And finally, um, we want to make sure that VSync is uh, on. So here is VSync with VSync on. And that's all. With these settings, you should um, be able to uh, record with OBS while playing in 4K without any issues. Of course, depending on your cards, you might want to tune other settings if you have not a very performant card. Maybe you wouldn't go for Ultra, but you would go for High End. Um, or maybe you can adjust individual settings like the terrain vector data or the buildings. For me, with a RTX 3080, I can set it to Ultra and keep the other settings. So, and with these settings, you should be able to do a recording like this landing I did above uh, Los Angeles, a very heavily built upon city center. I could do it absolutely without lag in 4K recording with Shadow Play. So I hope the settings will work for you too. If they do, please give me a thumbs up. And if you want to have any questions, feel free to uh, comment on this video and I will try to uh, help you out. Thank you for watching and bye bye now.